In this clip, we will set up the cookie cutter data science project template. To set up any project using the cookie cutter template, you will first have to install it. So if you are using pip, then you can go to your terminal and type pip install cookie cutter. But if you have installed the anaconda distribution, then you can also use the conda install. So let's use it. Let's proceed. Once you have installed the package, you can use it to create a new project. So here we are in our working directory. Let's clear the screen first. Now we can type cookie cutter followed by the cookie cutter GitHub repo link. Press enter. This will clone the project structure from GitHub to your local machine. It will then ask you about some basic information about your project, such as the project name. So let's give it a name. And as we'll be working on the Titanic disaster dataset, let's give it a name Titanic. You can add the repo name as well if you want to link this to a GitHub. You can add the author name, some description. You can select the license type. You can also provide the S3 bucket details if you want to sync data between S3 and your local project. Let's skip it for now. You can also provide your AWS credentials. Then you can select your Python interpreter. As we'll be working with the Python 2, let's select the first option. So now you are done. Now let's do an ls to the current directory. So now we have a folder corresponding to the project name that is Titanic. Let's get into this directory. Now let's see the structure of this folder using the tree command. Here I have set the level to be three. As you can see, this template has several components. We will not be using all of the components, but it's good to know about different placeholders and how a typical data science project is structured. So from the top, you have a license file. Then you have a make file. These are the typical make files that are used to run different scripts. Then inside the data folder, we have different subfolders. External will contain the data from third party sources. NREM will contain the intermediate data that has been transformed. Processed folder will contain the final data that will be used for modeling activities. And raw folder will contain the original data. And you don't want to modify the raw data in place. So this is an immutable thing. Then you have docs for the documentation. Models folder will contain different models, our model summaries. Notebooks folder will contain all of the Jupyter notebooks. Then the references folder will contain manuals or any other material that you want to include in your project. Reports folder can contain the final analysis in different formats such as HTML or PDF or LaTeX. Figure subfolder can contain different graphics or figures that you may want to include in your reports. Requirements.txt file can be used to reproduce the analysis environment so that the others can install the packages that you have used to generate the results. SRC folder will contain the source code for your project. It also contains an init file so that it can be converted into a Python module. Then all of the scripts to download and generate the data can reside in the data subfolder. Feature subfolder can contain scripts to convert the raw data into features that will be used for modeling. Model subfolder can contain scripts to train the model and use the model for prediction. Then you have the visualizations folder that can contain scripts to create visualizations that are part of your project. The cookie cutter template also contains files for setting up test environment and tox.ini file if you want to use tox for automated testing. Although in this course, we will not be using all portions of this template as we'll be mostly concentrating on notebooks, but such a standardized approach can greatly help you in the long run. Another important aspect of a data science project is version control, especially if you are working in a collaborative fashion. So in the next clip, we will talk about the importance of versioning in data science projects.